Let's stay with politics. Machakos Governor Alfred Mutoa is calling on President Uhuru Kenyatta to constitute a team that will secure global markets. For Mira saying he is ready to be a special envoy to lobby for the foreign markets for the cash crop. The Mandeleo Chap Chap party leader says his visit to Meru and Embu counties where the crop is widely grown reveals its full economic potential is yet to be exploited. Machakos County Governor Alfred Mutua proposing formation of a special board to market Mira internationally and in turn reduce taxation of the cash crop. Unda tume ama unda kikundi cha kwenda kunegotiate kwa kutafuta soko ya Mira kule UK, kule Djibouti, kule Somalia hata ku expand soko Congo, Afrika Kusini ndio tuwezeshe soko la Mira liweze kupatikana. Mutua at the same time offered his services as an envoy should the team be constituted, saying focus will be directed to markets in the Middle East and United Kingdom. He was speaking in Yahururu town where he pledged to build at least 40 kilometers of road in every constituency if elected president in 2022. Mimi kwenda Somalia, kwenda Uingereza, kwenda Djibouti, kwenda Congo, kwenda kila mahali kufungua soko ya mira kwa niaba ya watu wangu wa Eastern, wa Tarakanithi, wa Meru, wa Embu na kukote kule soko hiyo na pia kuangalia pia hali ya kuondoa mabrokas katika mira na pia katika hali ya upandaji wa chai na kahawa. Meanwhile, former Kajiado County Governor David Nkendianye and former Senator Peter Musitet have rallied the Ma community to support President Uhuru Kenyatta in uniting the country and shaping development in the region. The duo who held a meeting with the Ma elders commended recent ambassadorial appointments by the president and warned the community not to be misled by leaders already engaging in the 2022 succession politics. Mimi agenda ile nimewaitia ni moja tu ya kupenda uhuru na tuunge e mkono na tusitoke kwa serikali. Ile mambo tuliona huko Kennel, mambo ingine tunaona watu wanakimbizana huko, hiyo hatutaki kabisa. Hatutaki watu wacheze na amani kwa sababu amani ni muhimu sana na kila mtu ni lazima achangie katika mambo ya amani. Former Dagoretti South MP Dennis Waweru who was present also hit out at leaders already campaigning and dishing out handouts claiming they do not have an agenda for the youth. Kazi yake ni kudanganya vijana, kupatia handouts, eh? Kudanganya maskini ati anawasaidia pretending that is <laughs> offering solution to very complex issues with handouts. Why would we want to allow ourselves kurudi nyuma? Makweni Senator Mutula Kilonzo Jr. is expressing concerns the hustlers versus the dynasty politics will divide the country if left unchecked. The legislator who spoke at a funeral at Mboni challenged fellow politicians to put aside their selfish interest and focus on uniting the nation. This country is greater than the hustler nation, than the dynasties. I can repeat that a hundred times. This country is bigger than the dynasties and the hustler nation. This is a country of peace-loving people who want basic needs. Elsewhere, Imurua Dikir MP Johanna Ngeno has dismissed the Building Bridges Initiative, saying youths in the country need jobs, empowerment and employment. He was speaking at the funeral service for renowned Kalenjin secular musician Hamon Kipkirui Rono, famously known as Kaboom Rhino Stars, held on Saturday at Kapchelanga Grounds in Kipkelion East constituency Kericho County and attended by thousands of fans. The artist lost his life two weeks ago in a road accident. And the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IEBC, has cleared eight candidates for the Msambweni parliamentary by-election slated for December the 15th. The year Ali Hassan Mwakulonda of Party of Economic Democracy, Marere Wamwachai of the National Vision Party, Sheikh Mohammed of the Wiper Party, Hamis Mwakaonje Lingaje of the United Green Movement, Omari Idiboga of ODM and three independent candidates, namely Faisal Abdallah Bade, Charles Bilali and Mansur Kumaka. The seat fell vacant after the demise of Suleiman Dori in March. For Channel One News, I'm Ben Troy Njue.